Give me another shot. You sure you don't want to have ride home? I just want another shot. It's up to you. Cheers. Yo, don't you answer my calls? Yo, what are you saying? Yo, wake up! What the? Hi, I'm gonna need an ambulance to 8 Wilma Drive. Thanks. right now it's such a nice day it's temperature of three and a pressure of 101.3 kpa come in hi there karen i'm officer marty how are you um kind of bad so do you recall any of the events of yesterday night mm, the last thing i remember the waitress handed me my drink and from there it's kind of a blur and what bar were you at um the dark horse Oh, that one just on the corner of Bloor and Jane? Yeah. Okay, thank you for your time. We'll be in touch. Alright, thanks. The heart is a blue Shoots up through the stony ground There's no Officer Marty, how's it going? It's okay, how are you? I'm not bad. I was just wondering if you've ever seen this girl in your life? Yeah, she's a regular at my bar. What bar would that be? Dark Horse. Was she there the night of January 12th? Yeah, I was serving her table. Um, are you aware that she got poisoned that night? I had nothing to do with that. Uh, did you make the drink? 
No, I only serve them. You can check the cameras. Um, okay, well, thank you. We'll keep in touch. Hello, Mrs. Smith. Hey. I'm Officer Marty. So, why am I here? Um, you're our bartender at the Dark Horse, right? Yes, that's correct. Do you recognize any of these girls? Yes, they're both regulars at my bar. And are you aware that they were both poisoned and one is now dead? No, I had nothing to do with that. Would you mind if we took your fingerprints, Miss Smith? Help them. That's standard procedure. Sure. Hi, I'm Officer Marty. Hey, how's it going? Um, it's alright. Going alright. So, you found the body, sir? That's correct. And how did you know the victim? Um, I mean, we've had a couple of fun nights. And was last night one of these nights? Uh, I wanted it to be. I was calling her a lot during the day and she wasn't responding to my calls. So I went over to her house to see what was going on and she was unconscious in her bed. That's when I called you guys. And so where were you before you went to see her? I was at work. And where do you work? At the junkyard. And do you know where she could have been prior to her death? Um, she spends a lot of her nights at the Dark Horse. And do you often visit that bar? Uh, only on the nights that my girlfriend isn't working there. Who's your girlfriend? Um, Angela Smith. Your girlfriend's Angela Smith. And so were you cheating on your girlfriend with the victim? Yeah, you. I see. Thank you for your time. There seems to be high levels of lead nitrate as well as blood alcohol level of 0 0.09. Nice. Of course! The first time there wasn't enough lead nitrate to kill Karen. Bring in Angela, I figured it out. The poison didn't work, the drink was too diluted, I have to increase the concentration of the lead nitrate in order to kill that stupid whore. So why am I here again? We found your fingerprints on both the glasses used to poison the victims. I had nothing to do with that. Did you also know that the victims were poisoned with lead nitrate? I just said, I had nothing to do with that. Aren't you a chem major at University of Toronto? Yes, that's correct. Are you aware that your boyfriend was the one who found the body? No, he had nothing to do with that. Are you aware that your boyfriend admitted to sleeping with the victim on multiple occasions? Multiple? So you are aware that your boyfriend was cheating on you? That stupid homework actually ruined everything. We were perfect together. I just had to get rid of her. You're under arrest for the murder of Joanne Wilson and the attempted murder of Karen 